Rabbi David Feldmann ist Sprecher für die Torei Carta International und er organisiert antizionistische Veranstaltungen, Lektionen und öffentliche Demonstrationen, um das Schlechte am Zionismus zu veröffentlichen und darüber zu lehren und insbesondere die Fehllehre über das Judentum. Rabbi Feldmann beteiligt sich an nationalen und internationalen Konferenzen. Er wurde 1971 geboren. Thank you. My name is Rabbi David Feldman uh, from the Ture Kart International. I was born in New York 1971. Uh, my relatives from, geboren. and my all relatives from Europe and from Russia, some of them came before the Second World War in uh, part of the family were, was uh, unfortunately killed at the uh, Second World War. We have come together here on the anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. As the Zionists hold a memorial ceremony on the grounds of the infamous camp, let us take a few moments to think about the true meaning of the Holocaust on the one hand and what the Zionists are doing on the other hand. We Orthodox Jews, Holocaust survivors or children of Holocaust victims certainly remember the murder of the holy martyrs and the suffering of the broken survivors. We continue to relay these, sto these stories to our children and we remember the martyrs in our prayers. But when we remember the Holocaust, we are reminded of the words of the Almighty in the Ten Commandments that says, Thou should not kill. We are reminded of the meaning of oppression and how it feels to be oppressed. The Holocaust serves as a lesson for us not to oppress others. And that is why it is so painful to see how there are some people who make a business out of these tragedies, using it to justify their crimes against Judaism and their injustice against human beings. That is certainly a desecration of the memory of the holy victims. Zionist propaganda uses the Holocaust as a justification for their state and all their atrocities and to silence every voice of opposition to whatever they do by using the blame of anti-Semitism. But the truth must be told, aside from the fact that according to Jewish faith we are in exile and are therefore forbidden to establish our own state, what the Zionists have done in Palestine is a crime against the indigenous people, the Palestinians, and is a crime against God. It's a catastrophe for all involved. Also, it is unfair to demand that the Palestinians, who were friendly to the Jews before Zionism arrived on the scene, should pay the price for crimes that other people committed against us. The Zionists say, that they will protect us from a future Holocaust. But what they do is only creating more problems, not only to the Palestinians, but also to the Jews. In fact, they actually want to create problems for Jews, because they, their approach has always been that anti-Semitism and the murder of Jews are beneficial to their political goals. They want that there should be anti-Semitism in the world. They want Jews to suffer so that they can benefit politically. They gain the sympathy of the world and more Jews fleeing anti-Semitism immigrate to their state. This was the case in many Muslim countries where Jews lived in a total peace with their Muslim neighbors. Then the Zionists came and uh, began fighting until the Jews 
no longer felt safe and they left the region. In fact, it, it was during World War II when the Zionists passed up many opportunities to save Jews and for their political goals they, they even stopped other people uh, that wanted to rescue Jews. And we have some of this documentation on our banner on the wall and some more documentation in our booklet which is available. The Zionists say that they need a state because what happened in the Holocaust. But the truth is the other way around. In order to get a state, they needed a Holocaust. They say that we should learn from the past what caused the Holocaust and how to prevent another one in the future. But from the writings of Rabbi Michal Be'er Weissmandl, who was one of the most famous rescue activists during the war, we learn that the Zionist anti-Torah policies of fighting back and standing up for our rights made the Holocaust a much bigger tragedy than it might have been otherwise. And actually, the rabbinical authorities almost in its entirety opposed the Zionist movement since its beginning and said that it is forbidden according to the Torah and will only bring misfortune upon Jews. The Torah approach is to bend our head in submission, not to make demands or provoke others. If Jews during the Holocaust had followed the Torah approach, it could have avoided much of the terrible murder. As we have quotes in our little booklet here uh, from the Nazi cabinet minister Abentrov, and there are many other quotes proving this point. Following the Torah approach is the only way to prevent a second Holocaust, and that is the true solution to the current increase of anti-Semitism. This is one of the reasons why we hope and pray for the peaceful end to the Zionist heretical state and its destructive policies. As faithful Jews to the Torah, we proclaim the Torah forbids Jews to have a state, no matter in what, uh, for, for what reason. The murder and theft committed against the Palestinians is a sin against the Torah. The Zionists' use of the Holocaust for their political purposes is an insult to the memories of the victims. Most of them were not Zionists and whom the Zionists abandoned during the Holocaust. Benutzen den Holocaust für ihre politischen Zwecke als eine Beleidigung an das Gedächtnis. As survivors and children of survivors, our hope is that the memory of the Holocaust and its true moral lessons should remain with us for all generations. Let us strive for peace and mercy for us Jews and for others. Das Gedächtnis, das Gedenken an den Holocaust we pray for the ultimate redemption for us all. That will be a time, a spiritual happening that God will change the minds of people to recognize, to accept his kingdom. It will be a time of peace and harmony. No more war and no conflict. As the prophet Isaiah says, and nations will no longer Nations will no longer uh, lift a sword against others, neither will they learn war anymore. May we merit that this should happen soon in our days. Amen.